Around Easter of 1996, a crack in Amy Pond's bedroom wall connected it to an Atraxi prison. This crack also erased Amy's parents from existence, and Prisoner Zero was able to escape through it to Earth from the Atraxi prison. The Eleventh Doctor closed this crack by widening it with his sonic screwdriver. TV, The Eleventh Hour, The Big Bang, cracks also appeared on the side of Starship UK in the 33rd century, TV, The Beast Below, and in the Cabinet War Rooms in 1941. TV, Victory of the Daleks, another crack opened to a vast size aboard the spaceship Byzantium in the 51st century. It erased Crispin, Marco, Pedro, Philip and many weeping angels from existence, then closed. The weeping angels had feared it and attempted to escape, only to be dropped into it after they had absorbed all of the Byzantium's energy, disabling the ship's artificial gravity. The angels, combined, were a sufficiently complex space-time event to temporarily close the crack. TV, Flesh and Stone, according to Rosanna Calvieri, she and the other Saturninians fled Saturnine because of the silence they saw through some of the cracks. They fled through one of the cracks to an ocean like ours, on Earth, after which the crack closed behind them. Just before the doctor left Venice, the doctor heard an abrupt silence. The previously busy market had suddenly become empty. TV, The Vampires of Venice, there was a crack in the Silurian city beneath the Earth in 2020. The doctor, Amy and Rory found it while leaving the base. Examining it, the doctor reached inside the crack for shrapnel from the original explosion and retrieved a burnt piece of the TARDIS. Before leaving, Rory was fatally shot by Restack, and his corpse came in contact with the light from the crack. Despite Amy's protests, the doctor left Rory behind. The crack subsequently absorbed Rory and erased him from existence. TV, Cold Blood. The doctor still remembered him and mentioned him later. TV, Vincent and the doctor and the engagement ring which he had bought Amy still existed in the TARDIS. Amy lost all memory of Rory due to the crack directly affecting her past. TV, Cold Blood. There was a crack in Craig Owens's flat in 2010 in the kitchen wall, next to the fridge. Shortly after the doctor left the flat, the time field energy began to emit from the crack and it began to expand. TV, The Lodger. Craig and his girlfriend Sophie were later revealed to still exist. TV, Closing Time. Another crack appeared in the TARDIS itself whilst it was parked next to Amy's house on the 26th of June 2010. The TARDIS monitor read the time and place, and the glass cracked into the shape of the cracks. This was followed by a sinister voice rasping, Silence will fall. TV, The Pandorica Opens. A crack appeared on one of the walls in the Temple of Artemis in 1929. Audio, The Hounds of Artemis. Sometime in the 41st century, a crack appeared on a tank that held a Dalek mutant. Comic. The only good Dalek, on the Minotaur's prison ship, the ship generated a series of rooms, one for each person who got transported inside, containing their worst fear. While he was on board the ship, the doctor discovered a room of his own, TV, the God Complex, which contained the illusion of a crack in time. He intuitively dreaded that his business with the cracks in time was not over yet, since they had weakened the integrity of the entire universe and left scar tissue. His fear was justified and later confirmed. TV, The Time of the Doctor. When Gallifrey had been shunted into a pocket universe following the end of the last Great Time War, TV, The Day of the Doctor, the Matrix detected the time field. Correctly gambling that this was a way back to end space, the Time Lords took control of the residual crack on the remote world of Trenzalore, broadcasting the question in a truth field to attract the attention of the doctor and confirm that it was safe to return. Pros. A brief history of Time Lords. This caused the nine-century-long siege of Trenzalore where the doctor defended Trenzalore's town of Christmas from the orbiting fleets while also refusing to release the Time Lords lest the Time War resume. When the doctor was on the verge of dying from old age, Clara Oswald used the crack to implore the Time Lords to save the Doctor who was dying of extreme old age due to having no more regenerations. TV, The Time of the Doctor, with Clara providing them confirmation that they'd found the right universe, pros, a brief history of Time Lords, the Time Lords moved the crack and used it to grant the Doctor a new life cycle before they closed the crack. TV, The Time of the Doctor.